on both sides, which is great for at night for visibility. And then um, it's got a front headlight, which again, it's hard to see right now, but it's very bright. It's got a rear tail light, which is also a uh, brake, light, brake light. So it illuminates when you hit the rear brake. Um, it, has, it only comes with foot pegs. It does not have pedals, but these are pretty robust foot pegs, a lot like a, like a motorcycle, you know? Um, really good kickstand. The seat, bench seat, like a supermoto seat, really comfortable. It's got front and rear fenders. And um, to, uh, so you literally just press, turn on that key, and then it's ready to go. And it's got uh, a nice little uh, display that just shows you, I don't know why, but in the camera, the display like looks really funny, but it's perfect in real life. So I don't know why it's moving. But anyway, it's got uh, battery, battery, uh, five battery bars, so 20% degradation. It's got a high speed, a low speed, your speed, and then trip odometer. And then when you're riding, the trip odometer becomes the battery voltage and it tells you what your volts are. Uh, it starts out, I believe, at uh, 59 volts and it goes to about, let's say, 52 volts. Um, and then it's got over here a horn and this is your headlight to turn on and off and uh, the high and low um, I don't remember the specifics but you put it in low gear and uh, it tops out at let's say you know 16 18 20 or if you put it in high gear it tops out at 32 33 and one of these I think it's this one is a false bolt and it's just got a hole through it and inside here is a little button so you just push through here with like a pen a tack a paper clip a toothpick and you push it and it turns it from it'll go from right here it says s you see where it says s see how s is lit up um if you push that button that'll go away and that means you're in high so uh safety mode or saver mode versus high mode also um will uh restrict your low and high also so if you have it in saver mode your low and high only go to a certain level if you want full max power you got to put it in high or get just get rid of the safety uh the saver mode button and it just you're in you're in high mode but then within high and, and, and saver mode you also have the ability to go high and low so it just makes the high and low threshold higher in the uh the non-saver mode okay uh a pretty cool little uh, USB port here for two uh, USB ports. If you want to do a, uh, you know, like a speaker, you want to do your phone, so forth and so on. And then, um, I believe, 16 inch wheels. Is that right? I'll verify. I'm almost positive. Uh, yeah, I believe 16 inch wheels. And uh, that's it. And the bike comes in about 85 pounds. And uh, we're gonna take her for a ride, okay? All right, people, we're badass in it today. I'm hitting a cool trail on my little Burrow Max 1600. Badass little machine, dare I say. And uh, we're gonna see what she can do. I've already been on this trail and I can tell you she can do a lot. There she is, badass. We're gonna try her out, see what she's got, okay, peoples? So come along for the ride. You will enjoy it. So it's a 1600 watt mid drive, although it doesn't have the torque of like a Bafang mid drive. It's got some good torque but it doesn't have like the crazy torque uh, that like my 750 watt mid-drive Bafang did uh, that I had from Luna. So it's still got some good power and some good torque, but it doesn't have that kind of torque. But you can see I'm going up this like little hill here, like nothing. And I've yet to go up a hill, this thing can't go up. So it's got some torque. It goes 32, 33 miles an hour. It's actually pretty comfortable. It's got full suspension. It's got hydraulic disc brakes. It's got a 52 volt, 23 and a half amp hour battery. <clears throat> and it claims to go 30 miles range. We shall see. 
and uh, it's just a badass little machine, people. Electricity. No gas. I used to have a little Honda Z50, one of those little red uh, old Honda 50 motorcycles, and it was loud, you know. And it's like you can't set it down because the gas and oil will leak. You know, I, I had to set it down in the back of my trunk once. The oil leaked everywhere and gas. Uh, it smells. It's got exhaust. You gotta clean the filters, you gotta do all this bullshit. I don't have to do any of that shit with this thing. Nothing. This thing is just all by itself. Freaking turn a key and go. You know? So I'm gonna call out what the what the hill percentages are here just so you get a sense. We're going up like a 4% grade. We're getting ready to go up like an 8% grade here in a second. This is about 8%. And it's working real well. And I'm not feeling a lot of the bumps. I mean, it's definitely got some nice suspension, you know? They call it an off-road machine only. It even says for off-road use on it. And uh, so far so good, people. So the suspension's nice. Definitely comfortable. Definitely gives you a nice bounce. And uh, yeah, I'm impressed with the suspension. So I've never been this way before. I've been in these mountains, but I've never been this way before. So we're going to explore together this is like a eight to ten percent grade right here it's becoming like a ten percent grade right now maybe even twelve percent and we're still going all right people we're going 12 miles an hour up this hill and i'm six foot two ten ish and uh did i say six ten no six foot two ten ish yeah that's what i meant bike I took out the other day and uh, I've kind of tested it like we are right now this is about a 12% grade people uh, it's handling it and it's got tons of divots and rocks and stuff and it's handling it like nothing so I took this out the other day and this is quickly becoming one of my favorite bikes I've now ridden 75 electric bikes electric vehicles whatever the hell you want to call them two-wheeled electric vehicles and uh, this definitely climbed into my top five, and it might have even climbed up higher. I will keep you apprised as things develop. This is about a 12% grade. These are high hills, people, steep hills. We're going up like a nothing. Okay, this is about a 14% grade coming up. Hoping it can get up, but I've got some nice momentum. Might not, this might be too much. We'll see. All right, we're going 11 miles an hour. Still going though, people. Okay. Yeah, this is a really freaking steep hill, people. I can tell you two things. A little Honda Z50 could never have gone up this. Um, my Super 73 could never have gone up this, throttle only. And uh, hey, like a Hemway Cruiser, throttle only, no way. The Rad Power Bikes, throttle only, no way. If you're pedaling those hard, you can do it, but throttle only no way. So this thing's got some power, just to give you a perspective, you know? Going 25 miles an hour right now. Cool thing is you're low to the ground, so you feel like you're going really freaking fast, you know? That's just like one of the key benefits of this whole thing. But I will say, having ridden my Cab Eagle a lot, Check out my videos. I've posted quite a few. This thing's a lot lower to the ground, so you feel like you feel safer. I don't know. It just it's less intimidating when you're going around a turn and you're potentially going to slip and fall if it's like you know loose dirt, loose sand. On my eagle, um, you know, you get a little bit of oh boy. This thing, not so much because like how far are you going to fall? Like 18 inches. You know what I mean? So I don't know. It just feels better. You know, it feels safer. Yeah, this thing, I've ridden a lot of like mini bikes, you know, I've had the Z50, I've had the CT70 um, from, from Honda, um, I've had these little Chinese um, 125cc motorcycles, and these have, this thing has more suspension, more stability, and it just feels better going uphill, you know, you don't feel like you're bouncing all over the place, you know, it's got some nice, good, nice suspension. 
Like this is rickety right here, people. I'm not feeling it that bad, you know? It's going really well. And the brakes are extremely solid on this thing. So I don't know how nobody's heard of this goddamn motorcycle, but it's like they've been this is the new one that they came out with very recently in the last few months. And they have had for years, like four or five years, a 250 watt, a 350 watt, and then they came out with a 750 watt. And I guess people, and those were really small form factors, like a lot shorter than this. And people kept asking for uh, bigger. And so they just came out with a 1600 and it's got a 52 volt battery. Those all had 36 volt batteries, I believe. Um, and you know, 10, 12 miles range max and uh, a lower high speed, you know. They had mechanical disc brakes. They had, um, you know. So this thing has everything. It's even got side lights. Rear light, headlight, hydraulic disc brakes, 52 volt battery, 23 and a half amp hour. That's pretty good, you know, people? So this bike has all the different accoutrements and it's all for less than $2,000. Like, that's kind of crazy. I liken it to what a lot of people have done with those little uh, Razor RS 650s, you know? But those bikes are shit and they're putting like powerful components in it to make it go freaking haul ass but it's still a piece of shit bike you know it's it's, it's razor really so unless they're replacing parts which it doesn't look like because it still seems to look exactly the same on the outside at least they're giving some parts this thing's freaking beefy this thing's durable this thing's got some stability you know and it's got power and it's got range and it's got speed and it's all for uh two thousand bucks when you take one of those other bikes they're like 600 bucks you got to put a seven you got you want putting a 72 volt battery which granted a lot more power and a lot more range but it's still 1500 2000 bucks just for that then you get a better controller bac 4000 you know thousand bucks or more i mean you're already at like four grand this thing's two thousand dollars you know so all things being equal and you don't have to do anything to this this is right out of the box ready to go so all things being equal, I think this thing is like people's answer to, you know, those modified razors without having to modify anything. You know? So. If you're looking to wheelie, this thing's got the, the torque to get you up and it's got, the, and it's light enough that you could easily like do wheelies on this thing. It's like, 85 pounds i believe which is really easy i mean it's like it's not very heavy i literally lift the front end up and then lift the back end up and put it right into my uh truck you know no problem i gotta make sure i can get back up this thing i don't know what the hell this is what is this shit we're gonna do it people well maybe we're not i don't know are we i think we're gonna go a different way just because that might might be too much of a hill i could be wrong but it might be I don't even want to tempt fate, you know what I mean? Plus I'm having so much fun on this freaking trail. Jesus! So I don't know why these bikes aren't known. They're really uh, well put together. Good components, good specs, good price. They're based out of uh, Missouri. And you order it and it comes within like two weeks. And uh, they send it via FedEx. And shipping was only, I think, eighty dollars. So all said and done, including tax and everything, this thing was like twenty-two. That's not bad at all for something like this. You know, you're getting a lot for your money. So those little, those little fifties are badass too. I want to check one of those out. I just don't know of anybody who has any of these. So I don't know. I gotta get my hands on one of those because they're a lot smaller but they seem to have some pretty good power I was watching a video of a guy who's got to be 6'1 250 pounds big guy and he was freaking riding it for miles through the woods on trails so this thing can handle people you know what I mean I mean the smaller version can handle people this thing certainly can so even the smaller one can that's the 750 I just love the sound this little beast makes. Jesus. Handles corners really well. And 
and uh, a lot of room between me and the handlebars. I don't even have them all the way pushed forward. I have them like just vertical. So you can see, I've got a good four to six inches at least between me and the handlebars. And a long bench seat, which is pretty comfortable. I've got, um, what do you call it? Motorcycle, not motorcycle, BMX style pants on that have, uh, you know, pads in them. Front, back, left, right. And uh, I'm feeling comfortable on this thing, people. First of many mountain bikers who clearly don't like us. Us being electric people. Anything other than a mountain bike for that matter. That feels like he owns the freaking trail. You can just tell. It's not your trail, buddy. You can split it. We can live in harmony, can't we? What the hell is this over here? I don't even know what this is. Some of these hills I could probably get back up, but I just don't want to try it. Because what if I can't? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a long ass hill right there, but I bet I can get up it. Just don't want to tax the the motor too much. I mean, I'm sure it can, but it's like I just got it. I really want to like put it through its paces already. Not really. I don't want to put it through its paces yet, people. Okay, meanwhile, we're going up like a six or eight percent grade right now. And the thing's got some torque, like it. Like right when you hit the throttle, it, it, it kind of takes off, you know? I gotta check, but I believe it has 16 inch tires. It might have, it doesn't have 20, I know that. So I think it has 16 inch tires that look like they're three inches wide and it's got some decent tread, you know? I came up here on one of my other bikes, <clears throat> one of my taller bikes, and I remember being like, damn, this thing's a little, a little sketchy because you're close to the cliff. This thing, you just don't feel as bad. You feel safer because it's so low to the ground, you know? Safety in being near the ground, people. At least the perception of safety. I'm still in the middle of freaking nowhere, and God knows, you know? There's all those trails down there, people. Everywhere you look, there's a freaking trail. This is a badass trail right here. We're gonna check her out, see what happens. Got all my pads on. I mean, these hills I could probably get up from a dead stop, but it's like, why? I'm trying to hit them with some momentum. Save battery, save motor, save life, you know? Save face, save time. But we're getting up, this is like a 14% grade. Maybe even 16. That was a really freaking steep grade right there, people. Really steep. Oh, I've been here before. I remember coming right here and sitting and thinking, man, I'm a freaking badass. Look at this thing. I want you guys to appreciate how badass this thing is. Oh, the other thing, brilliance. It's got a little uh, spot to uh, USB spots, ports, to power your, your phone and whatnot. Isn't that cool? Badass. So look where we are. Are you seeing this? And uh, Mountain Biker 2. He's going to give me a look. They all do. And uh, what's up? How you doing? <sighs> Just two guys enjoying the scene, people. I feel him like staring at me. So badass up here. Just amazing. The views, people, the views. These trails go forever. All directions. You guys see up there and down here and over there. Over here. Everywhere you look. Now, I could go up that right there, but I just don't feel like it. That looks too much. Okay. All right, people. Have a good one. Oh, that guy's got an electric mic too. He sure does. 
Everybody's doing the electric. The electric, PB. The electric. The electric slide. I like that guy was just staring at me, but I think he was just one of those people that doesn't care about like personal space. He just likes to be right next to people and just wanted to enjoy the scenery. But it's like, dude, you're literally on top of me. We're in the middle of a freaking, you know, just, you know, cacophony of uh, a labyrinth of trails and, and whatnot. And you're literally four feet from me. Like, why would you do that, you know? Anyway, different color rocks, different color dirt. Taking you to the painted desert, people. You seeing this? So you guys seen these trails? These trails are insane. Look at this. This is some terrain, people. Got some divots, got some rocks, got some little grooves, some cuts, some branches, some... Yeah. I'm bouncing. Bubba bouncing, people. See this? Now, it is a little hard going down a steep hill to like lean back because it's such a small bike not a lot of room to lean back but you know just kind of pull your knees in hold the brakes and pray you know that you don't fall forward but so far so good you know that guy gave me a fucking look because it's his trail it's his trail I'm on it and I should be arrested and shot because it's his trail after all he's the one that carved this path 150 years ago that guy right there so I used to I have a, a rule that or a rule a, a hope that one day somebody will make it possible if you're in a car somebody cuts you off to be able to make that person's tire go flat and have them safely pull to the side of the road feel the same should go here with mountain bikers who are complete assholes you know same thing i should be able to slowly depress or de deflate his tire and have him safely go off to the side of the road and then have to call his freaking wife to get a helicopter to come get him i think that should be that should be a rule and you know what the the it's funny i don't know how to put it into words but people who think their God's gift are mountain bikers. They truly believe that they were put here to disparage everybody else. It's their world, we get to live in it. And uh, you know, God forbid you have anything other than their bike, you know what I mean? They're just assholes. Like, why is that guy such a prick? I wanna just smack him in the face. I don't like people like that, people. The guy looked at me and he just shook his head and goes, Jesus. You know, it's like, fuck you, buddy. I don't give a shit about you or your life. I'm just trying to enjoy mine. Okay, I can say for right now, I'm not lost, but I have lost my way. And I'm praying that I just wind up back to where I need to be. Because we just keep going, people. And uh, going and going and going. I'm not exactly sure where I am. I know where I need to be. Off to the right over there. Can I get that way? I think I might be able to get there this way. But just like a big old uh, labyrinth of trails here. And, you know, they connect to one another in different ways. And you can take a left or right. Kind of took a different turn this time. And, uh, you know, I'll figure it out. There's no question. But it's like, I don't want to pop out somewhere where I have to ride the roads back. I think it's certainly do the roads. I just don't feel like it. It's definitely not meant for it, and I don't feel like doing it. You're just too low to the ground. You know what I mean? I'm way too low to the ground, and I just don't want to do it. On my way back to one of my haunts. I think I need to go that way. Yeah, I think so. 
This looks familiar, let's put it that way. At least I'm going in the right direction. I need to go that way. So, we're going on an adventure together. Probably gonna arrive with people next time, you know what I mean? Just for safety's sake. Yeah, I think I've been here. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think I was actually here the other day. Almost positive. I think they all connect. These trails connect. You thought I was screwed. Nope. Ain't screwed, peoples. Okay, I'm almost certain. 98%. This is where I was the other day. Yeah, this is it. 100%. I made it. I did it, people. You literally thought I was in the middle of nowhere and I was stranded. But no. I am not. I know where I'm going. And I have made my way back to civilization. On my little Burrow Max. That's no W. B U R R O. Max. No idea what it means. A guy named Bill seems to run the company. I don't think his last name is Burrow Max, but maybe it is. Maybe it's just like what kids call them in middle school, you know? Yo, Burrow! Get your gym shorts on! Let's go! You know, who the hell knows? I don't know. Maybe it's his favorite, uh, I don't know, cartoon character? I have no freaking idea. But I'm just making shit up as I go. Oh, that was a sketchy little spot there. Trying to get some momentum going up the hills because you're like you turn and all of a sudden you got a wall of hill in front of you and you're like damn it am i gonna get up it yeah yeah i was here the other day okay i'm taking shots at the enemy i'm gonna make it to the top